Okay, so just to, uh, uh, we're getting back into the editing of Seeker, and I'm going to continue reading from where we left off last time. Mm -hmm. The material felt rough on her fingertips. Even in her once wealthy childhood home, Jewel had never known the texture of paper until the day she received her Seeker credentials. It had been written on a scroll almost as expensive as her shuttle, which was then hidden away in the grand archives. She gripped the folder all the way back to the docking bay. Now, there's an element of world building in here, like the Seeker Grand Archives and all that sort of thing. That in and of itself could become its own topic that we really... Problematic as an own topic. Okay, so you want to get rid of that, yeah? Uh, here's how I would play it. I would say... Uh, she will have never known the texture of a paper until the day she received her Seeker credentials on a scroll. Full stop. And then she mm -hmm. ripped the folder. So I just completely cut every yeah. mention out of the... Okay, sweet. Because the whole Grand ar Archives, I wouldn't say that it can't work, but we don't currently have a a backstory to it, and mm -hmm. the way we have set up the Seeker organization so far, uh, I don't think it, it could actually accommodate Grand Archives. Or like, Grand Archives goes together with concepts like global civilization and capitals yeah. and, and councils and, and that sort of thing. There might be a... not a fa uh, not faction, what's the word that I'm supposed to be using now? Division? Uh, Division, yes, like there might be a division <laughs> archive, but it's there's not like one grand archive mm -hmm. where all the seekers have got their credentials stored I mean, away. I mean, I can I can see there being a a some sort of central database mm -hmm. with the jobs done and uh, and uh, and the personnel and uh, and and that sort of thing, like personal records and uh, and bounties. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to sit on the chair without the chair creaking. <coughs> okay. So yeah. Uh, uh, I uh, I would scrub the grand archives. Okay. The material felt rough on her fingertips. Even in her once wealthy childhood home, Jewel had never known the texture of paper until the day she received her seeker credentials on a scroll. She gripped the folder all the way to the docking bay. This also deals with another problem about it being as expensive as her shuttle, mm -hmm. because that was just... It's... In, in the original text, nice image. In mm. now what we're polishing up, it's redundant mm. as fuck, so... Get out of here! Okay. Uh, also, I um, I remember that we have had the issue with the she gripped the folder all the way to the docking bay already. And now I'm not even sure it's necessary. Like, there has to be a beat before Raptor uh, calls out. But, uh, but uh, the grip the folder seems a little bit too final. I think this was our way of okay. So the the folder isn't shouldn't be the focus of this sentence. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. transition. Yeah. Between. So it's it's more like she kept fondling the paper on her way to the docking bay. Fondling. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Like she tickled the folder. <laughs> no. Um, <Tiddle> yeah. <laughs> what a titillating document! <laughs> this this reminds me of you know back when I was doing all like he exclaimed and she shouted and stuff like this and the one the example you gave me was they ejaculated. <laughs> and it yeah. Was just yeah. Like, oh yeah, I see your point. Okay. So I'm thinking that <laughs> she sort of. She 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 keeps feeling the edges, so it's like, ooh, interesting. Yeah. Like, ooh, holding a folder. What do you, you have here? 
but but then again it's flick in the corner but then again it's it's not about the folder it's about her moving boom, to the boom. docking bay yeah so maybe the folder doesn't even come into it maybe it's just a hu she hurried back to the docking bay or she mm -hmm. m she m uh not hurried but her, her she's her She's got direction, is what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. Like she's she's got a target. She knows where she's going, and she's not faffing about wasting time. She's so r she's not rushing, and she's not. But she is focused, determined, and she is in a stride. But the folder is there. But the folder is there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Although we've already covered that by saying the material felt rough on her fin fingertips. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's the thing. Uh, by saying the thing about the material, it sort of puts the focus on the folder a little bit. So mm -hmm. even if the folder is not the main focus, it is still uh, like it's it's a it's a prominent prop. Yeah, and it is something that Raptor will see and 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 note on. And as we know from the future. We know that he is actually there to make sure that she got the folder <laughs> and that she looks into it. Oh, Raptor. <laughs> she held it awkwardly all the yes. way to the docking bay. And because you've said it instead of the folder, it is a glancing blow, but the prop is still relevant, you know. And I'm I'm gonna say docks instead of docking bay because otherwise it's gonna rhyme too much. She held it awkwardly all the, the way back to docking bay. <laughs> 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 like it's it's not it's not the full rhyme, but uh... DMX will be on the phone before you know it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, it was this, right. this morning Mr. Ragger had tweeted something like I have been criticized for my use of the word indifferent too much. Frankly, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. <laughs> what a legend. Yeah, aggro spawn. Okay, so I am gonna continue. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to go down to oh Jesus. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna change elderly man to a short elderly man. Okay. Because that gives a little bit of an image. Mm-hmm. All right. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here's <right>. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Carry on. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Okay. Hey, Valkyrie! Val! A short elderly man sprung from a seat of crates and boxes next to Solitaire. His, jackets, his jacket patches indicated very high status among seekers. He observed her approach with a welcoming smile. You're not that easy to find. He was still smiling. Overseer Raptor. She granted him a nod. Uh-oh. What do you have there? Uh oh, what overseer? She cursed herself for not concealing the folder. Private contracts aren't against the rules. He let out a short laugh. Maybe not, but there is still the fee to pay, and you know the old saying. What? Jewel was growing impatient. Private contracts are nothing but trouble. You really not heard that? How eloquent. Jewel rolled her eyes. They came to a stop at the sh opening shuttle door. Raptor pulled a smoke from his pocket and lit it. Why are you here? Jewel was now clearly irritated by the continued presence of her mentor. I just came to check on, in on you. I don't often get the chance with these early morning visits of yours. He took a deep pull on his cigarette. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were doing it on purpose. As she was about to reply, Jewel noticed Raptor's gaze drift down to the mostly vacant do- Sorry. As she was about to reply, Jewel noticed Raptor's gaze drift down the mostly vacant docking bay. Is there a problem? I do the job, I turn it in, and I get paid. Has the formula changed in my absence? It remained silent for a moment. 
Believe it or not, you have people in this universe who worry about you, myself included. I find it hard to believe that your entire life revolves, around, uh, revolves solely around running jobs for the Seekers. What do you do with your downtime? How do you unwind? I think there's probably a good place to call it. Yeah, otherwise it's going to get too, lo too big a chunk. Mm. Basically, uh, this part, uh, this is the part that we edited during uh, during the readings. So mm -hmm. it kind it kind of it's it's kind of cleaned up already. Uh, oh, I could have done a better job of reading that. I really no, let the but, side. No, but I, I found I found some places that I'm not happy with. Observed her approach with, an, with a welcoming smile. I'm not sure about this one. He smiled as she approached. He smiled or, as she drew. Or he waited, uh, waited her to catch up with a welcoming smile. Yeah, he. He smiled as she approached is probably the most neutral of them all. Mm. I, I might get fancy here. Bear with me. I am going to be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, so <laughs> I uh, I did my fancy thing here. He smiled a welcome as she approached. You're not easy to find. He was still smiling. Um, I like the I like the first bit. But he was still smiling, I don't know. Maybe yeah. mark that up. Oh uh, yeah, actually we don't need that. I think yeah, just But other than that, everything else is a huge success. Hmm, okay, okay. Right, then the dialogue is okay. And why are you here? Jewel was That's so great. What? That and the how eloquent. Like you can you can feel her her <laughs> irritation rising just from reading her words, which is excellent. Maybe uh, so. Point one: I will turn this sentence around into an active statement instead of passive voice. But uh, the continued presence of a mentor was I don't know. Was getting getting to her maybe too casual language, or was getting under her skin maybe. I, l I prefer getting under her skin mm -hmm. to getting to. Yeah, because this kind of this could mean anything. And and this for the future. Dun dun dun. <laughs> if you read back to this place, you will also realize that he knows very well that he's sort of diddling diddling around <laughs> there is making her uneasy and he full fully knows it and he does it on purpose. Yep. Raptor <laughs> It's so wonderful to edit with spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Such freedom. <laughs> 
With great oh, power! I just came to check on you! <laughs> Where was that? Uh, just down here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just came to check in on you. <laughs> He's getting under my skin, and I'm not <laughs> even there! <laughs> <laughs> Vacant, yes. vacant Bay would be a good band name. <laughs> <laughs> they go on tour with Lincoln Park. Vacant Bay and Lincoln Park, yeah. <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, that I wasn't. Uh, that one wasn't with you. That one was with um, uh, with one of the uh, Stalker Let's Players that I watch. Uh, he was modding something and he, s he said that his head was full of particles and I said like I commented that head full of particles would make a good band name <laughs> 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 I should I should start writing this down <laughs> I'd listen <laughs> yeah so head full of particles and uh, and uh, vacant bay will be performing together. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I wonder if there's actually a market for selling band names to up and coming bands. Right. Probably. We can't think of our own one. <laughs> Probably. I mean I I don't I would think that there isn't like a market for it, but there's an industry for it. Like it's uh it's part of the production cycle. Yeah. So somebody out there is churning out band names. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some really terrible ones now, but I can't. They're just not coming to me. Yeah, no. Okay, is there a problem? Okay, uh, I think you can keep on reading now. Jewel had been caught off guard. She wasn't used to being questioned, especially by Raptor. That is my business, and I would care to remind you of that, Overseer. He ignored her response. What I see is, you get a job, jump off, catch your mark, drop them off, get paid, get the next job. You're like a machine existing solely to fulfill contracts. When do you relax? It's not healthy. George found deepened. I will be the one to decide such matters. If you had ten seekers like me, you wouldn't need to hire all those other slackers and idiots. She almost spat. I get the job done, and I don't bring negative attention to the industry. I speak with respect, Overseer, but I will not hold my tongue on the matter. Hold it there. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything here that needs changing. What did I say instead of, if you had ten seekers like me, you wouldn't need to hire... I think I said half of those, it's slackers and idiots, but I think all of all those slackers and idiots probably works better. To hire all those slappers and idiots. <laughs> I think leave it. I think I'm just overthinking it. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those bits that when you start digging into it, you will surely find something. Mm. But uh, it's probably unnecessary to keep poking. <laughs> okay, carrying on. Mm -hmm. Raptor tossed his finished smoke over the railing. I think that's the most emotion you've shown since you qualified. If I stop asking about how you spend your downtime, will you remember that you're not in charge of the recruitment policy? <laughs> After a moment of silence, <laughs> Raptor let out this <laughs> I see I've outstayed my welcome. I just ask that you heed my warning, Valkyrie. Private contracts are nothing but trouble. She rolled her eyes again. If that's what you're worried about, rest easy. Any semi-decent jobs on the network, I won't even touch. I won't even open it. She had to say it. She had to <laughs> say it. <laughs> Raptor began the long march down. I would like to believe that. I really would. <laughs> Jewel tried to think of a good send-off and failed. Nothing but trouble, she muttered to herself in a mocking tone. She made a mental note to hold on to the folder until she had checked out the Seeker network. 
As the shuttle's hatch locked in place, Jewel finally relaxed her shoulders and took a deep, soothing breath. She tossed the folder on the desk and sank into her seat. Welcome back, Valkyrie. <laughs> Awaiting input, Jewel found a comfortable position before focusing on the console. Connect to Rystar Service, seek a network bounty directory. Connecting. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, this one also, I think it shows that we have worked on it recently. Mm-hmm. And I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it would probably be possible, well, I mean, it would surely be possible to polish it into a more polished version, but uh, I think it's, it's good enough. We're slowly straying into the territory of if we keep editing and polishing, it's never going to get released. Yeah, and, and it's going to get worse <laughs> in some cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chapter two. Yeah, and of course, uh, again, all the spoilers, or the relaxed spoiler, uh, spo spoiler rich uh, environment attitude uh, in full effect. Uh, she didn't, uh, she didn't have to like brain. Like I can gloat at her for for saying it out loud that she's gonna uh, check the network for better jobs. But of course, Raptor would have tampered with the with the data anyway. Mm -hmm. Like uh, he he doesn't <laughs> leave that sort of thing to <laughs> for for chance. Uh, for a second, let me let's have some fun. Let me read the part two corresponding stuff like from the future uh, Raptor expositioning. And this this would also help us. Oh, oh! Chapter fifteen is not in here yet. Okay, I have forgotten to include it. Well, there you go. So let's see. Full full release part two. Fifteen. Is the sentence she made a mental note to hold on to the folder until she had checked out the Seeker network redundant because we've already said Jewel rolled her eyes again. If that's what you're worried about, rest easy. Any semi decent jobs on the network I won't even open it. Yeah. I think you can easily get rid of it without losing much. Like there are some places where some of the internal dialogue is a is a good idea, but I think we don't need it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me let me dig into chapter fifteen. Fifteen, 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 fifteen. Okay, Raptor continued. Once you were safe, uh, let me see. The voice. I need the right voice. Once you were safe at Fryhab, your family kept working on collecting information. I knew that I knew that one day you might be approached with a special contract. My task then was to make sure you read its contents. Jewel stopped mid bite. This doesn't make any sense. You clearly told me to stay away from the contract. <laughs> I only said it was going to be trouble. <laughs> Raptor developed the mischievous glint in his eye. <laughs> Plus, I might have taken some steps to compel your choices. Senior clearance to the bounty base and the global vessel interface can be very useful. He reveled in the moment before turning serious. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's... All right, <laughs> 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 Uh, so ac actually, I think it's a good idea to compare these moments back to back, 
because this way we can also catch some possible uh, plot holy moments mm -hmm. or otherwise problematic moments where they hit delete. Hit delete, okay. All this talk of raptor smoking has made me want a cigarette, so mm. please excuse me. Recording? Yep. Okay, so we're still working through Seeker, we're on to chapter 3 now, and uh, to begin with, I'm going to read the first two paragraphs, and we will carry on from there. Solitaire was almost silent. Drew was deftly scanning the job listings on the Seeker network. It was a lengthy process, even for her skill level. Normally it would take her barely half a standard hour to confirm a job and be deep in stasis with the shuttle taking its set course. Today, however, there seemed to be a problem with each and every contract in the database. Highlight, Jewel muttered, her gaze fixed on the top entry. Her drifting mind snapped back to the list when it only took an instant for the details to load. The close proximity of the network hub was truly a blessing. Selected, Yurgov Justice Center Zakaz, contract 1762, contract multiple targets. Okay, so the first thing, half a standard hour. Yeah. I think that's I, probably I, kill a second. Yeah, uh, either, either use a sort of uh, vague, uh, uh, vague uh, non-unit or sort of like vague personal unit or, or, se or kill a second. Because I think I have world building tangent ahead uh, I, th I think I've even discussed this uh, uh, this principle that uh, again if we uh, on one hand if we take the if we start building up the uh, the what units are in use if we start building the concept up from the terraformer uh, expeditions then uh, they would have used like if if their stuff is based on our current world stuff, meaning using our current world science, they would be using the unified uh, what's it unified measurement system. So so basically, meters and liters and and kelvins. Uh, and on the on the other hand, the local realities, the local orbits, local uh, day lengths. Don't me don't measure up or don't match up with that. So it's it's not uh, very practical to hold on to uh, our hours. No. Yeah. There would certainly be some cultures who do, mm -hmm. and with them it's a specific thing. But as a universal thing, you would have to come up with new things. Yep. And uh, I don't remember where I read this. Uh, it was probably somewhere in Atomic Rockets. Uh, where was this uh, this um, two approaches to uh, sci-fi units? One is that you take a familiar, you take a quantity that's familiar to you and just put a stick a different label on it, and that's that's how you get the standard hour and and mm -hmm. everything. So it's basically you just keep all all that's familiar to you and 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 just slap different names on it and i don't like that approach <laughs> <laughs> so so uh what i'm what i'm saying is that if if there is some sort of grind down to basics and then build up from those basics when it comes to measurement uh, systems and time and such then there is no place for standard hour if no. if at one pla if at one time they already sort of uh, uh, took the measurement uh, scaffolding or or the the top top building took it down to seconds and then just uh, use seconds as the basis for other units, you won't end up with with thing like standard hour anymore. You 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 end up with something different. So. And that's <laughs> that's why I want to <laughs> take away that phrase from here. <laughs> uh, change it, change it to barely a killer second, because personally, I think that's something we're trying to reinforce. Um. Well, if uh, uh, if I were to do some conversion 
like if if you have an actual our our era time spin in mind if you actually mean half an hour no see now this was the thing it was easy to say half a standard hour oh okay but a kilosecond is like 11 is it 11 minutes long uh 5 minutes more like oh okay well in that case well yeah so if it's a 5 few, minutes a few a few kiloseconds yeah so uh, i will i will have to i no i will have to check so a kilosecond da, 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 uh, calculator it a uh, kilosecond is 16 minutes 40 seconds so a single kilosecond would be probably be enough oh okay is it 16 yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, uh, I'll send you over the Wikipedia link. Okay. Because th that's the thing, I, I'm, I'm oh. used to, I'm used to faffing about, <laughs> faffing about, faffing about <laughs> again in my, uh, in my, uh, handwritten notes, <laughs> but I don't have a handy chart. Yeah, kilo second. Okay, yeah, 16 minutes. Oh yeah, I think I... I don't know where I took the 11 minutes. That, oh, that's because a megasecond is about 11 days, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. International system of units! So that's what I meant before. The second is the international system of units base unit of time. Which combined with a prefix, blah blah blah... Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted. Oh, that looks nice. Oh my god. It would take... to confirm <laughs> I want to I want to introduce a little wiggle room normally it would take a kilosecond or two to confirm a job and be deep in stasis with the shuttle taking its set course it sounds like a pretty good sentence to me I can see where the, au the awkwardness is but I, I think that's it's fine two okay. two yeah, that's yeah. that's why those words are differently spelt, so people can <laughs> differentiate. Two. And thus, our Two. mastery of the English language improved. Uh. <laughs> Trust, we're going to revolutionise this shit. Yeah, but th now here's the thing. <laughs> oh this <God>. chapter, <laughs> uh, I I don't have an issue with the, with that particular passage, but. It is very apparent that this chapter has been edited a long time before, or like it, 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 it's it's been edited in a different era. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that this one probably needs a lot more work. So let's see. Oh, I might have to go for dinner soon. Okay, yeah. I, I think uh, I think let's mark as many things in here as we mm -hmm. can and then maybe leave it for later. Okay, it was a lengthy process even for her skill level. Uh, it's a bit this, clunky, eh? Yeah, and do we have to say it? Like, the point here is that... Uh, no! Okay, so yeah, Solitaire was almost silent. Drew was da -da -da -da. Normally, it would take a killer second or two to confirm the job. She's... We've already said, you know, mm -hmm. normally it would do da da da, da mm -hmm. but today, issue. 
you know, so yeah. I don't think we need it. it was a lengthy process even for our skill level. I mean, uh, again, the, the plot point that uh, the network hub in close proximity means faster data exchange, that, 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 and, and that was nice. I will keep that, mm -hmm. but uh, I will try to uh, bind it together with her search in a better way. What time has she got for her mind to start wondering as well? As soon as she highlights that top entry, bang, it loads. So when has she got time to sort of, you know, mm -hmm. let her mind drift and shit like that? So yeah, I, yeah I'm with you. Mm -hmm. That needs some tickling. Yeah, so I think with this chapter, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do only highlighting, but I'm, I'm not going to try to fix anything on spot. This and irritation lurked at the back of her mind. Yes, true, but not like uh, the more jobs she's scrolling through, the angrier she's getting. Yeah, it's building up. Yeah, but this this actually an irritation lurked at the back of her mind. Hold over from the hey reader, be suspicious about this shit. Mhm. Mm so. Oh, okay, it's that irritation. So this yes. is not okay, so this is not even I'm gonna mark this whole thing. The foreshadowing is for readers, not for Joel. She yeah. she doesn't know that she's being played. <laughs> so that's that, but there is also an element that she's growing increasingly agitated mm -hmm. as she looks through the entries. So while that irritation is wrong there is still a place for an irritation. <laughs> God, this is difficult. <sighs> Words. Right. I think we can cut the uh, crew manifesto of uh, Alexis. Yes, but if we should keep the um, how much they're offering yeah. and a number of how many okay, there are. So I see that I have, I have noted here, skim over the crew names non rang a like say that she she skimmed over the crew names and non rang a bell so mm -hmm. instead of name just say that she she didn't recognize any uh. and in total there should be 9 plus 2 i think is it hang on Marcus, Jax, Nikki, Kaliso, to Nikki, four others, so nine, and then you've got Corella Singe and uh, Chase Orion. So yeah, there's eleven mm -hmm. in total. Okay, so basically we skip all of them and just say that uh, they are offering that much mm -hmm. to bring to Justice Center Zakas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was a conversation from a time long gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, as Jewel rightly points out, I know we don't really... Well, I know we haven't really done much talk on currency, but 16,500 seems like an awful tiny sum <laughs> for, um, for picking up 11 fucking people. Like, that's just ridiculous. Also... She should discard the job merely based on her equipment. She does not have uh, multiple holding cells. No. But this I, might but be I an instance of, you know when you're looking through eBay for a, for mm -hmm. a car, and you can't find the Astra in, in red or whatever, mm -hmm. so you, you look for it in all the other colours as well. So I think this yeah, is a case of yeah. just, just checking it out. Yeah, yeah. Also, also, I'm guessing that um, she, she, that's why she's dividing the sum up, because she's sort of thinking of 
just pring, uh, picking up just one, or mm -hmm. maybe teaming up with somebody, possibly. Oh, okay, this means... Actually, let's make it a plot point. Uh, so, 16 and da 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 for 11 people, and let me change the direction here. She does the math. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Just to give some perspective, I think Fallon was offered 50,000 plus a bonus mm. by the Black Star team just for doing that, what is essentially a simple go check out this location job. You know, so this is, this is dire payment. Diabolical! <laughs> Unacceptable! Yeah, so basically she's considering capturing one Mm -hmm. Or any of them, and uh, and uh, and she immediately realizes that this this is some bad deal right there. Yeah. And I also imagine that because it's coming from sort of like an official government sort of thing, they're mm -hmm. going to be tight with mm -hmm. their outlay monetary. You know, <laughs> good like enough for a government job. <laughs> yeah. I think. How does it work? Do companies make a bid? And they're like, whoever can make the lowest bid gets the job from the government, yeah. how it works. I think that's how it works, yeah. so I get a similar feeling they're no, not going to want to uh, be... In my industry, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, doing, uh, producing little media content like, uh, like PSA videos and, uh, and cartoons and such, what they usually do is they have uh, they have an evaluation scale and uh, they give you points for content as well but they also like they have several categories where they give points and price is one of them so if you if your uh, if your offer and your portfolio and maybe your trial bit is like really fucking good then you can get the job even if you don't do it the cheapest mm. but but it helps <laughs> so it's, it's like you can't just have new people walking in and being like yeah well, I'll do it for free because yeah. there's people who have actually got experience and they do a better job of it yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. if it's just slightly more expensive yeah because uh, for smaller jobs you, you have to at least uh, present a concept and some uh, well the job that we're currently applying for example you have to uh, we had to send in a sort of concept summary and I think some sample uh, illustrations and a, a write-up of the scenario and, and such but with bigger jobs there is also a trial where uh, they they give you a piece of the thing you have you have to actually produce a piece of content or like a prototype piece, oh, nice. and and then they will uh, they will give you points for that. <laughs> oh, so it's it's fair then. Well, it depends because the competition can still be sort of uh, um, meddled with, uh. and, so, and and sometimes uh, there was this one competition where. Uh, we got the maximum points for content, but somebody else uh, bid so much better price, or they they got so many more points in uh, in the price uh, bracket that uh, even though their content points were slightly lower than ours, they got the job. Mm. And in one big competition, the whole uh, the whole setup was skewed and. Uh, I think it was a, it was actually a sham contest where they had right. actually decided on somebody to do it and they just had to they just rallied up the other uh, creative folk to you know tick the boxes and say oh we held a competition <laughs> oh man so all, all of that you know business as usual yeah <laughs> <laughs> so one five each 
Almost makes you want to move to our chaos. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, they they do all of all of that openly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is where I have taken some notes or or at least a marker blah, 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 blah. so this is this is the place where I felt that presenting her routine takes too long, like all the hygiene booths thing uh, it's uh it's needlessly detailed. Like the details don't actually provide anything new, and uh, and the process itself is also like there's there's too much too much text. The text substance ratio is not good, <laughs> and there there's probably more bits than the ones that I have already marked. But uh, but you can see some some places where I already know that I will I will want to cut the lot. Working past the minefield of green text leads to the shuttle doors opening. Made Jewel yawn. Returning to her own space made her realize how tired she really was. A slight breeze greeted her and she saw paper pages rustling on the floor. You know, that whole bit where she's the folder's been blown open and mm -hmm. there's credits and all that sort of thing. Okay, and here is where I would want to make a slight adjustment in content. Okay. Because now that we have established that she did crash in the bunkhouse... Uh, the upcoming thing is going to be due to sort of like overwhelming. Yeah, so so we it's have to. It's not an exhaustion. Yeah, thing. we have to word it a little bit differently. On one hand, she could still be drowsy from all the, her early morning shenanigans. Mm hmm. But uh, but also, uh, she's tired because of all the all the stuff, not uh, not because uh, she hasn't slept. Oh, I can hear plates smashing about, so let's do this quick. Um, uh, there's a whole section here where she's like ready to kick some ass. Mm -hmm. um, Let me add in the note. Um, to be honest with you, the rest of this is pretty good. Um, you I you might find something wrong with it, but okay. I, I quite like it. I think this might be one of those spots that we have edited later. Mm. Yeah, it certainly reads a bit better than some of the other stuff in this chapter. Yeah, I think I remember working on it, and uh, and it was a sort of unit in itself. Yeah, because we had to establish how like the folder was getting blown over and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and and because there was something. I think the way I'd written it before, it wasn't entirely obvious what had blown the folder open. Um, and we spent quite a lot of time going through this, and because of that, it's like, you know, her inner sanctum is violated, and she's mm -hmm. it, it goes back through all the stuff she does. Like, there's a bit of a panic in her mind where she's like, I did all this stuff as I when I docked. What's going on here? You know, mm -hmm. so. And then there's the turn. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right. 
awesome, sawsome. Yep. Okay, I can hear shouting now, so I think everything is escalating to a point. And everything is on fire! Oh yeah, my face is on fire and I can't feel my legs! Okay, um, I'm gonna run and get dinner. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna if cut, cut the recording because, uh... We have we have filled the air with enough spoilers now. There should be enough for the whole class. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us. We might do another one of these where we uh, where we do the sort of fine tune edits on existing uh, secret text and uh, and all the spoilers are out in the open. All the spoilers. All of them. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the recording now. Bye!